Good morning, good morning. It's another beautiful day in the shop. It's always a beautiful day when it's in the shop. You know why? Because it's inside. It doesn't matter what it's doing outside. It's nice in here. We're getting old blue ready. Christmas is over. But hey, it's only 12 months till next Christmas. We gotta head out on the road right away. Uh, leaving tomorrow. I'm getting old blue ready today so that we're ready to go tomorrow. We don't have much to do. I have a 9 p.m. delivery appointment in a few days in Laredo, Texas. By the time you watch this, I would have been and gone already. So we're going right down to the Mexico border to see what all the fuss is about. I keep hearing about it all the time. All this stuff going on down there. I'm gonna go see it for myself and see what's going on. Any of you from Laredo? Um, I would, I guess I can't ask your opinion here, but I'm gonna ask a couple of my buddies that run down there regularly or from time to time where a good place to park would be. Cause I don't think I wanna park right on the Mexican border. Uh, I think I wanna park like a hundred or so miles north of the border at least. Uh, overnight. I don't want to go right down there and hang out in Laredo overnight. I don't know the area. Like, sure, the, the, you guys from Texas might chuckle and laugh at me. Maybe there's nothing to worry about in Laredo. Maybe it's a good city. Maybe there's nothing. But I'm from Canada, a long ways away. The other side of the, the other border. You know, this one up here that everyone forgets about all the time? Hi, I'm from there. So, I don't know anything about that area, so I'm not gonna go and stay in any urban congested area, especially near a foreign border that I'm not familiar with overnight. That's just uh, my abundance of caution. So I'm gonna, it's a three day drive down there. I'll drive a full day tomorrow, full day the next day, and I'll drive pretty much a full day. I'll get past, am I going past Dallas, Fort Worth? I gotta look at my route yet. I'm going straight down I-29, and I believe that'll hook me up with the I-39 or the I-30 something. Right, and then we're gonna go through Native America, go right through Oakley, Oklahoma, and go into the great Lone Star State. I haven't been to the Lone Star State in years, so I am I am really excited about this, if you haven't noticed. I, I'm excited to go, but at the same time, a little cautious because I'm not familiar with the area at all. So we'll see what happens. Let's play it safe and uh, looking forward to it. So Old Blue is getting ready. Uh, I gotta get her all greased up here right now. Uh, I will not need those tarps because I'm going to be pulling a roll tight. So I'm going to leave those tarps here at home. I don't have to cart those around everywhere then. Getting all my stuff inside, doing a few repairs on the truck today as well. You know, typical regular maintenance, checking everything, checking everything out. Yeah, I am mandated by law to do that. So I have to come in here regularly and check it and make sure everything's up to par. And the government won't breathe down my neck while I'm in here. I'm going to uh, finally replace that front marker light because they came. <laughs> Very excited about this as well. Very excited. I don't know if you uh, noticed. I am excited. Oh, they're all wrapped up in bubble wrap. So I got two of them. I only need one for now. This is the front basil with LED light. You can sort of tell. I'll unwrap it in a second. But uh, I'll show you what I'm doing over here. This. Remember, these three diodes, these three lights are burnt out and they've been driving me nuts. It's also been driving me nuts that those are rusted. And it's also you know, deteriorating. Is it focusing? This camera is very picky on focus sometimes. It's old, right? It's time to replace it. So, off you go. And I'm going to replace it with a new one. A new one that I have back there. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so since I have a 9 p.m. delivery in Laredo, like nighttime delivery, strange, but maybe that's normal in Laredo. Like I said, I don't know anything about Laredo. I know where it is because I looked at it on a map and I'm like, oh, we're going to Mexico. Okay, right to the Mexican border. We're not crossing the border. I don't cross into Mexico. I only do Canada and the United States. The, that's it, but... Uh, Going right up to the border. So while I'm in here, I'm running another cycle 
of not just kerosene, but also diesel injector cleaner through my bunk heater. Still having issues. So what I've come to the conclusion of right now, what my unprofessional diagnosis would be of this problem is that I have a fuel filter on my pump that pumps diesel fuel to my bunk heater. The filter is plugged, I think, and it needs to be replaced. It's underneath there. Since I'm going to Texas, I'm not too worried. I hear it's a little bit warmer in Texas than it is here. We'll find out. <laughs> I won't need my bunk heater on this trip. So I'm running another cycle with the cleaner in there as well to clean that all out. And uh, we'll worry about that little filter when I can get my hands on a new one. It's just like right before the pump, like underneath here comes out of the diesel tank, goes to this little pump. It's that pump that goes click, 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 click. If you guys know these systems. Right there, right in there, this little tiny fuel filter. And I, I bet you anything, it's plugged with gunk. Bet you anything. So, uh, turn around here. I've got the door open over there, like the man door around the corner to get some fresh air in here. Don't worry, but uh, I, I need to keep as much warmth in here as possible too, so I don't freeze. Oh, this truck's dirty too. We're gonna stop at a blue bee. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut these wires and put new wires. All right. My bunk heater's working now. Turn it on, we'll see if it stays on. So let's get all my tools that I need together in here. This is my shrink tubes for the wiring. Wire strippers. And a good old trusty pair of rusty wire cutters. They work the same as the shiny ones. Boom. Bye bye. Don't need this no more. You can hear that engine heater over there is not, not running healthy, right? Well, number one, it's running on kerosene and uh, injector cleaner, a lot of injector cleaner. <laughs> it runs better on diesel fuel, is what it's sort of designed for, but kerosene burns hotter, so it burns all the soot off of there along with that diesel cleaner. It should clean it all out on the inside, but it, like I said, I don't think it's getting the fuel that it's supposed to. Uh, through the filter. That's what I'm thinking. That's, that's what I'm thinking. So before I bring it in anywhere to get fixed or replaced, that's one more thing I can do myself to try and fix it. Oh. Oh. You gonna keep running? Who knows? The colors on these wires are different and I always like to double check to make sure I understand which wire is the ground wire, which one is the signal wire, and which one is the marker light wire. Just to be sure. Okay, so we got the new one on here. The final test. Turn this hat on and four ways. Lights are on. Lights are on. There we go. Just like this side. Finally. That was driving me nuts. Oh, and the bunk heater went off again. So the next thing I gotta fix now, which won't be today, or go up here and... Gotta fix that one. Actually, you know what? 
Yeah, we can fix that one today too. Let's just get it done. And we're back home, got everything done on the truck. Picked up the mail, brought some Gorilla Glue home, got some stuff to fix around here. Picked up water, got milk, it's in the fridge already. Fred is outside with the dogs. Put this down right here. And where is he? Where is he? I heard you were trying to stand up today while I was working on the truck. Is that true? You try to stand up? It won't be long now, man. You'll be running around. And it won't be much longer and you'll be driving all blue. Stabilizing some video here for you guys. And, uh, man. My office looks different than it once did. Then again, I didn't have an office for a long time, right? <laughs> Guess my office here looks as it always has. He's been my little helper. He's been helping me edit the Christmas videos for you guys. Now he's upstairs. He's a little bit grumpy. He's a little bit hangry. He's tired. What's all the noise up here? Diesel, you gonna stop him? Nope. Ain't your job, man. Theo, you can't go back there. Leave Phyllis alone. She's sad enough. So he likes to go here and just stare out the window into the backyard. And occasionally, him and Phyllis is dirty. Exactly. Chevy's definitely gotta go out. Oops. There we go. Is that everybody? Is that everybody? All right. Careful, guys. All right. Well, I gotta get to the door so I can open it. I'm the one with the thumbs. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, one more. All the way in the yard. All the way in the yard. There you go. So I think the truck's all ready to go. That bunk heater, I know you guys, some of you guys tell me to stop talking about the bunk heater, so I'm gonna keep talking about it for a bit. Uh, uh, it's, it's gonna need more work than that. So uh, I'll worry about that when I get back from this trip. Other than that, the truck is all ready to go and so am I. Just gotta get a few of my clothes together here yet. And we'll be on our way first thing in the morning tomorrow before the sun comes up. I'd like to be awake here. I don't have to be gone first first thing, but I need to be able to get awake, uh, be awake so I can start getting everything loaded up. Getting ready for it. This is a bigger trip than I usually do. Uh, been to Texas before. When was the last time I was in Texas? I went down to Far Texas, a P-H-A-R-R, -R, which is the very southernmost tip of Texas. I was down there in 2009, I think. Long time ago. So I hear things have changed since then. I guess I'll go see if it's just rumors or if it actually is different. What do you think, Diesel? You were with me in Texas, huh? Diesel's been to Texas. So tomorrow, like I said, down straight down I-29. I'm thinking we could probably make it definitely past Sioux Falls, Sioux City. We could probably make it close to Council Bluffs, Iowa. Between Council Bluff and Sioux City, somewhere in there. The next day we'll make it into Kansas, probably. Maybe Oklahoma. Maybe Oklahoma. Yeah. Probably Oklahoma. Maybe even Northern Texas. That area, anyways, around Oklahoma. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully the wind is in our favor because it's all going to be flat land driving all the way down there, right? Very few hills. So if the wind is coming from the south, that's usually nice because it's blowing warm air up north to where we are, right? But in this case, I'm kind of hoping it's coming from the north and I hope it's just going to push me all the way down. Get some good fuel economy and then turn around and come from the south and push me all the way back home when I'm done. I don't know what my reload will be yet. I'll find out next week. But from what I've heard, apparently we got some regular freight coming out of Alabama. 
Might be heading over east to Alabama and then back up to Saskatchewan, but that's just hearsay. That's nothing set in stone. That's just other drivers saying, hey, they, I picked up there quite often. I know we also pick up freight out of Jackson, Tennessee, Steel. Uh, dry van picks out of Georgia all the time, but I'm not on dry van. I'll have a roll tight trailer, so I won't have to take my tarps with me. I confirmed that with the load gods, because I'm leaving them at home. I'm not dragging those things all around if I don't have to. 250 pounds of tarps. <laughs> oh, you get them, Frank. You get them. Get them. <laughs> so, if you're tired of the home time vlogs, don't worry. I'm going trucking tomorrow. And if you really like the home time vlogs, hey, we'll be back again in about a week. I don't always film when I'm at home. Do you guys like the home time stuff? I know that it's not as exciting. I'm a little bit more relaxed. Right now, I'm still on vacation. So, I'm not I'm not supposed to be doing anything. This is Christmas vacation. Those two guys Ah, well. Diesel. How you doing? You ready to go in? Your paw's getting cold. In you go. Let's see if I can get these two rascals back in the house. It's nice that this little old guy, Frank, can still play with Chevy. Diesel's back hips are... Well, they haven't gotten worse since we moved here, but they've definitely gotten worse since last year. And he can't run with Chevy anymore the way he used to. It's kind of sad. So it's a good thing Chevy still has Frank to play with. Frank is old, but apparently he's still in pretty good shape. Either that or he just doesn't care. He's going to play nonetheless. He doesn't care about the pain. <laughs> Frank, the door's over here, bud. See, this is the thing with Frank. He's got a little bit of dementia. He doesn't really know what's going on. Always gets confused. He can still play like a puppy, though. Come on, bud. There you go, you goof. You goof. His back legs don't want to come along all the time. So we've got this gate here at the bottom now as well. Because when Theo's down here, we don't want him to start crawling up the stairs and fall back down. And uh, these are also screwed and anchored into the wall on both sides. We started putting up some one canvas here. The other day, Brett is going to make this all into one big family collage wall. If this camera would focus the way I want it to, that would be nice. Oh yeah, I gotta put these toys away. This is like his favorite thing right now. It's like a 1980s thing. <laughs> the old stuff. He likes the classics. There we go. Let's put this here, I guess. There we go. I think I got one more in there yet. So if you're wondering, uh, we keep all of our Christmas decorations and Christmas trees up until after Ukrainian Christmas, which is on uh, January 6th, I believe. We're not Ukrainian, but uh, it's an excuse to leave our tree up longer. 
Oh boy, this place is still a mess. Probably because it's my room that I use the most. Tune in tomorrow for another video uh, as we get Old Blue back on the road. Dust off the dust. Dust off the dust. Blow off the dust. Clean off the dust. <laughs> dust it off and head on down I-29 to Texas. I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.